So if you're somebody that streams directly from your Xbox console and you want to go live on Facebook, in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you're able to do that without the need of a capture card or a PC utilizing Lightstream, which is a free platform that's built directly inside of your Xbox. In order for you to set this up, you are going to have to have some kind of device that connects to the internet, such as a cell phone or a tablet. And you are then going to want to head on over to the official website, golightstream.com. And I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below. So that way you can go directly to this page. And so from here, what you're going to want to do is click on this button that says start streaming for free. And you are then going to be brought to this page right here that's going to ask you to sign in with your Twitch account. Now, once you sign in and authenticate with your Twitch account, you're going to be met with this screen right here, which is basically going to be asking you for a display name, a microphone, as well as a webcam. However, since we're streaming directly from our Xbox console, we do not need to do anything here. The only thing we want to do is just click join. And you would then be met with a screen that looks exactly or if not similar to this. And so what you're going to want to do from here is connect your Facebook account by coming up to the settings icon at the top. And then you're going to want to add a destination. Now, once you click that option, you will see that we have now have the option to add Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, as well as any other RTMP destination of our choosing. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and select Facebook. A window is going to then pop up and you are going to have to sign in with your Facebook account. Now, once you authenticate your account, you will then be able to see this screen pop up right here. And so this is pretty straightforward. It's basically just asking you for the title of your stream. You can then go ahead and put in a destination or hashtags, whatever you want to put down here inside of your description. And then you want to select exactly where you want to go live. So if you have like a designated page, like a gaming page or anywhere you specifically want to live stream to, this is where you're going to go to pick that destination. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just pick my gaming page and then you can set your privacy. So if you want to stream to everybody, like to have the notifications for everybody on your Facebook account to know that you're live, you can select that. If not, you can just do friends. You can do friends of friends, or you can just do yourself if you just want to test this out. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do self, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click save. Now, once you click save, you will then be able to see that your Facebook is now officially added. So this is going to be now one of the destinations that we are going to be live streaming to. And so the one thing that I do want to note here is because of the fact we are utilizing the free version of Lightstream, we are limited to only streaming in 720p. If you're wanting to live stream in 1080p, which is the full resolution, you are going to have to upgrade to the premium version, which is $12 a month. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. A 720p stream is still pretty decent quality. Now, another thing that I want to know is that we will end up having a logo that's going to be in our stream which is pretty common because I mean, we are using a free software. Um, so you do have the option to choose exactly where you want this logo to be. So it don't have to be right here. If you want to choose exactly where this logo is, you can just come right here on the far right hand side. You will see this design icon and then you will have the option to choose the position of where you want the logo to be. So you have top right, top left, top bottom and top right. And then if you have a banner that's popping up, let's say, for example, if you have your webcam, then you will have the ability to turn that one or off right here. And so now that we have our Facebook account established inside of Lightstream, we now are going to have to head on over to the Xbox console to make sure that all of our settings are correct to transmit over from Lightstream over to Facebook. Okay. So once you're on your Xbox console, what you're going to want to do is click on the home button that's on your Xbox controller to bring up your menu. You are then going to head on over to capture and share, and you're going to scroll down until you see live streaming. Now, if you have not connected your Twitch account already, by all means, go ahead and scan the QR code that's going to pop up on your screen, and then you'll be able to log in with your Twitch account that way. 
or what you can do is you can actually use your phone and you can go into the xbox app and you'll be able to link your twitch account that way as well and so now once you're logged in with your twitch you will see that you now have the ability to update your stream name so you can just give it whatever title that you want uh, you'll be able to go ahead and add in a webcam. So for example, I have an Elgato HD uh, webcam right here. I can just plug this into the Xbox and my camera will pop up right here. And the only thing you have to do is just toggle it on. And so now if we go back, you will see that we have the option for more options. And then you can toggle on party audio which essentially means that if anybody's inside of your party, they will have the option to add in their voice inside of your stream. And then you can also go ahead and change your game volume. So you can adjust that depending on how high or how low you want it. And then the same thing for your microphone volume. Now for your resolution and bit rate, you want to make sure that's set to 720 because you have to match the bit rate that is inside of Lightstream. And so, Lightstream has 720p resolution for the highest setting. So that's what we're going to go with. And then you can go ahead and you can adjust your overlay. Um, basically, this is going to be like the broadcast overlay and you can just change the transparency. However, you see fit. And then last but not least, the destination. So if you have this set to Twitch, you want to make sure that this is set to Lightstream. Once that's said and done, you are now able to go ahead and load up your game and go live. And so now once you hit that button to go live, you will officially be able to go over to Facebook to view your live broadcast. And if you were to head on over to Lightstream, you will also be able to see that your gameplay is coming through Lightstream over to Facebook as well as to Twitch. And so if you wanted to monitor your chat, the only thing you have to do is head on over to the right hand corner and there's going to be a chat bubble for you to click on and you will be able to monitor all of your chats right there through Lightstream. And so there you have it. That is how you're able to stream to Facebook directly from your Xbox console. And so if you made it to the end and if you learned something, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be able to take your stream to the next level by adding in professional overlays, widgets and alerts, make sure you click on this video right here. And I'll walk you through step by step on how you're able to do that in Lightstream.